Good morning. Good morning. We're rushing. <laughs> I think it's past 10. Yeah. I tell you, 10 years ago, I would have hated myself with me being late all the time <laughs> like I am now. We tr well, actually, we try to give people time to get on. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're uh, Sisters in the Kitchen. Thank y'all for joining us. Yes. We're going to be making some of Linda's famous ribbon cookies today. She's been making these for years and bringing them to all our Christmases every year. And they are, they, they, they do take a bit to make. They are a little bit um, uh, messy. In fact, <laughs> I was going to get some of those gloves. Uh, just go ahead and. Talk. Okay. All right. Well, she's got her but she's got her butter in here. She's fixing to cream her butter, and uh, with the electric. With the battery operated mixer and uh, we always cream our butter first and get it light and fluffy before you start to add your sugar so um she's going to be doing that and what do you, you mix these with your hands linda well, when we get to the chocolate and the cherries yeah oh that's right i did the other day because they are so messy it, yeah that chocolate will yeah. get under your fingernails so okay I'm I'm going to put All right, out thank you, Linda. cherries, too. Thank you. So it's going to be just a little bit loud here for a second. Um, and, Mary, um, after I get this started, if you'll go ahead and pour the sugar in here. Right. And then put my egg in and my flavor. Okay. I'll do that. We are just doing a single batch. Yeah. We've already got some made. And uh, we are cooked. We got cookie dough up. <laughs> my refrigerator is piled full of cookie dough. Okay, I'll take the sugar. Thank you. that you couldn't get a bad egg, but Molly always broke them because she yeah. had yard eggs. That's right. what she used. And, and um, um, we never had chickens that laid eggs in town, did we? Do you, people didn't have chickens. I don't, th I don't remember it if we did. We had chickens, little pullets that we raised to put in the freezer, but we never had a lay eggs. I don't eggs. remember us. I don't think we did. I've gathered eggs at Molly's house a lot of times. I was always scared. You're scared to be a snake in there? Or, or, yeah, or the chicken will attack me, <laughs> or you know, the rooster. I'm putting vanilla in there now. <laughs> yep, there's snakes around chicken houses, and, because there's snakes, they lock their heads. And now I'm putting some um, almond flavoring. A little bit of like almond. And I want to tell y'all something. Almond is amazing. Ooh, it smells so um, good. But do not put too much because almond is something that if you get too much, it's going to have a metallic taste to it. And and if you can, and I know there's times when um, you can't afford the best ingredients. There's been times when we couldn't afford the best ingredients. But try your best to use real extract and not imitation. It makes it makes all the difference. Yeah, in the world. it really does. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you ready for the flour? Yeah, I'm ready for the flour. And it doesn't yeah. take long at all to mix this up. And then your salt and bacon powder is over there, Mary. All right. I'm trying to get this beat up as quick as I can so we can uh, get the noise off of here. And we can talk because y'all know we love to talk. <laughs> for all of those people that don't like us talking, <laughs> that's just too bad. <laughs> all right. That's flour. Did you put all of it in here? No. Okay. I thought, no, that's salt. salt. I do the same thing. Salt. And, uh, where's the baking powder? Here's the baking powder. And baking Just a little bit 
coffee powders. Now I'll use the rest of the flour. Trying to Okay, I want to get I want to give you one cup. Yes, he did. and I know I'm tired of the noise, so I'm sure y'all are too. Okay. All right, let me get my battery out and get this out of the way. I'm gonna wash my hands in a minute. Mary, I'm gonna have to get my chair back over here. I'm sorry, but... Okay. I was on my All feet right. a lot yesterday, and I... Okay, 10 seconds. I'll try to clean up a little bit as I go. I don't get it all cleaned up. Uh, Mike came in the kitchen yesterday, and I was, and I made cookies over the weekend. He came in the kitchen, it was all cleaned up. There wasn't anything for him to wash. And he probably about fainted, because he usually comes in and washes the dishes for me. So y'all will see this here. It doesn't look like it's come together, but it will. And we're going to put some cherries in it, some candy cherries. So uh, that's going to be, um, that's going to have moisture in it too. And then the chocolate is going to have moisture in it. Making a lot of noise here. And um, we're going to divide this dough into thirds. Still operating your 10 seconds. I haven't done it. Yeah. Twice. Well, it's it's best to do it in increments yeah. like that than it is to um to yeah. over to over uh, get it too hot because if you do, then it's gonna separate and you have to start over. So Mary is melting semi sweet chocolate, and I think the recipe um may have called for unsweetened. There's not a lot of difference in unsweetened and semi-sweet. To me, I think semi-sweet is dark and bitter enough. So I use semi-sweet. It's it, starting to melt. If y'all don't have um, the blocks, the little uh, blocks, and do you have, is that package over there or did I put it up? It's in a sack, but I may have put it up. It's, um, I just got the Walmart brand. You can get Ghirardelli or you can get Baker's, uh, uh, you can there's several different brands you can get but I just got Walmart and they're um, I think it's four ounce to a package and um, so this little block so it's easy to break them off so you don't have to weigh them if you don't want to or if you don't have any kitchen scales now I am gonna weigh these that I divide out because I want to make sure they're even and um, I will I'm going to wash my hands in a minute so I can handle this cookie dough. But I'm going to wait till Mary gets back over here. I'm sorry to take this so, so long. I just put it on 20. Well, it shouldn't take, <laughs> shouldn't take that long. It probably just because it was, um, you know, it, it had been it's sitting. It's melting now. Okay, because it, it had been sitting in there. Just make sure that you don't scorch your chocolate because it will scorch. Still, is that melted enough? With a spoon, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to use a spatula. I'm going to just use a spoon to mix this up. Yeah, we. It, yeah, it's fine, Mary. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And okay. Then, um, so what? What am I doing now? Um, I'm going to uh, 
Okay. All right. I melted two squares of chocolate, and you can see I didn't, didn't, um, I didn't microwave them to they just completely run because it would have been too much. So. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on the scale here, and. Now, if you'll see this right here, it doesn't look like it's, but see how, see how it just, um, I didn't get my bowl. Would Which you, second drawer, the bowl scraper? Oh, I hope it's in the second drawer. Look in the third, if so, the second, there it is. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Linda's as busy as a bee. I feel like I... She's just working and I'm that's not doing how, nothing. That's but I, how I feel at your house. I don't know what to do, and it's best to let her do it because if I if I break her train of thought, she do like me. I'll leave, she'll leave something out. That's what I do. Okay. So here's our dough here, and I'm going to weigh move the ball of dough. First, you can have that. I'm going to weigh this on the scales, and then I'm going to know about... Um, have you got your bench cutter? Is that what you want? Are you going to cut that in? I don't have the bench cutter, and I need, need it. And if it's not in there, just get one. There, you can get that one. That's fine. The other one's probably going to wash in the dishwater. Okay, so that's about 34. Um, not How many quite, ounces was that? It's about almost 35 ounces. So I'm going to try to make me a log here and try to divide this. Okay. into thirds. Now this doesn't look like very much and it's not because I don't ever make single batches of anything. Usually I usually make big batches but um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this okay. and then weigh it. Okay. So that's 10. Let me scoot this back, the camera back a little bit so that they can see what you're doing. 30 something ounces so it's going to need to be about 11 ounces each. This one's more. I need that one this more. These bench scrapers are great for just. Okay, that's 11 something. That's 11 something. And that's 11 something. Close enough. We might be off an ounce or two, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna haggle over an ounce or half an ounce or quarter of an ounce. Okay, so now, we're going to divide this into three parts. Okay, so which one we did. So, this is where you're probably gonna need the gloves. All right. Um, they're both pretty equally messy. So, if you wanna do the chocolate, okay. I'll do the cherry. And I actually could do the whole cherry together instead of dividing it, but I wanna make sure it's the right amount. So, I'm gonna do it separate. And I know some of you people will say, you know, just do it all together. Yeah, and then you're going to have to weigh it again. And y'all trust me, this is going to be very sticky when I get through with it. So it's better to do it like I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. So um, you are going to, I just kind of mash it out flat, Mary, and make okay. kind of like a little whale. And you're going to add the almonds and the chocolate to yours. Are you talking about in the center of it? Or yeah, and then just, just work it over with your hands to make sure it's all mixed together real good. Okay, and how much chocolate? All of it. All of this and just one of the squares? Yeah, because okay. it's a and layer of put cherry. Them all together, okay. It's a layer of chocolate and then another okay. layer of cherry. Okay. So I want about half of this in here. Now, y'all see that's got moisture in it. Make sure I kind of... So I just work this in the dough. Yes. And the, um, the um, almonds, too. So and put almonds, yeah, if all you wanna, these almonds yes. in here? If you want to do it all at the same time, you can. See, I'm just kind of... Um, and, and this is another term that old-timers will... Well, no, working, working something in the dough, that just means you're just folding it back and forth and working it with your hands until it gets evenly distributed. And you might need your bench scraper. <laughs> this, this, go ahead, Mary. This is a new experience for me. <laughs> this is one reason I wanted to kind of dress down today. I didn't want to have on, on good, real nice clothes because... Um, this is kind of a messy process. Now, 
doesn't really take that long. And y'all remember the name of this is ribbon cookies. So it, it looks like it's got a ripple effect. Doesn't have to be perfectly incorporated because that's what you want. You want a ripple effect. I should I know those Push ones. Push my They're, um, I'm sorry, Mary. I rolled oh. mine up and didn't tell you to roll yours up. Now that bench scraper, I can't use it on this chocolate if you're going to use it back again on that. Are you going to use it again on that one? Uh, I could probably make do. Um, let's see. I'll just wipe it off for you. It's okay if it's got a little bit on it. All right. So if y'all see, we're just kind of mashing this down flat. And then I'm putting the rest of my cherries. Would you believe I chopped these cherries with the food chopper? No, I don't. <laughs> a food I chopper tried and a stick. To, well, I'll tell you a little secret what I did. Did you put flour in I sugar? lightly buttered, buttered the blades. Okay. Okay. Now, it does stick, but to me, it was better than chopping them by hand. And I'm going to try to chop cherry uh, orange slices. With Are you? I am. Hey, well, that, that sure would save a lot of time if it worked. Because that's the hardest part of making orange slice uh, yeah. cookies or cake is uh is chopping those orange slices. Because I chop mine really, really fine. That cherries are so pretty, aren't they? Now is this do you think that's mixed enough? Or you want yeah, no, no, you got it mixed. It wouldn't even have mattered if it would have still had some white in it because it's got a ribbon effect to it. So that's good. You don't need to mix it. Okay, so what are you going to do with this now? Just um so you do two with cherries? Yeah. Okay. And the cherry's going to, um, that little thing over there that's got uh, that little, that little Okay, so I'm through plastic. with this? Yes, you're through with that. The little plastic thing. Yeah. It's um, got dough in it? Yeah. If you'll take, set that dough out on the counter. Okay. And then, um, did okay. I put the, did I put the freezer wrap up? It's over there. Um, freezer wrap? Yeah, I'm gonna use freezer wrap because it's thicker. Okay. Instead of plastic wrap. It's to, to the left there, Mary, on the bottom, that blue one. Yes, yeah, that's it. And tear off enough to where it will to fit in here. Will, yeah, and it will lap over because we're gonna we're gonna lap it over. Okay. So I told y'all this was messy. Parchment paper is a baker's friend, so. If y'all don't have any, you can use wax paper, but parchment paper is um, is my choice, and that's what I like to use. Okay. Electricity. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my gloves off and get this mess in the garbage and move some of this stuff so we've got a little bit of room to work here. These cookies are really delicious. Now, Linda, this didn't, uh, uh, is this going to be the whole length of this pan here? Yeah, you have to turn it the other way, Mary. Well, you I didn't tear a big enough piece. I didn't. Piece. No, I did it the other way. I sure did. Yeah, tear, tear a real long piece because it needs to, it, this whole completely needs to be covered. I, I, I measured the wrong way. That's okay. I didn't tell you. You know, I'm not, um, I probably use more than I have to on stuff, but. I do it to make life easier. Well, I do too. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna, I put my gloves off and I'm not gonna I use do gloves too. doing this. Okay, here we go. Now this is a sticky dough. Thank you, Mary. Uh -huh. And she's got this and we're gonna press this down in here. So anything that you've got in your kitchen that the bottom of the Velveeta cheese box works. Yeah. Um, you can use a loaf pan, and we're going to show you that's that in a minute. utensil a tray, in it? Yeah, this is there. like a where you get the little trays to go in your utensil drawer. And this one is probably about, um, probably about 18 inches long. Yeah, I'm sure it is, yeah. And, um, but there's different sizes. You know, I, there's times when I empty my little things in there and use them and then take them out and use them again. And you're lining this, so you wash them, but even if they're they're old or something, it doesn't matter. Do you need a chair to sit no, down there? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Where do you want okay. to get me to do? So, um, um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to wish that I would have 
Let's get my gloves on. Um, so I'm gonna uh, just put a little bit on here, and then, um, and we're gonna start mashing this down. Okay. It needs to be even in the pan. Now you could have rolled out a log, but this stuff is sticky. It's very sticky, and that's why it has to sit in the refrigerator okay. because it is so sticky. So we okay. want to make sure that the corners all get. Um, Just show them what you've done there, Linda. She pinched that off, and and let, I don't think you showed them. I mean, I don't think it's, they seen. She pinched it into little pieces and and layered it across here. And then she's going to mash it down. She did that, like she said, because she couldn't roll it out because it's too sticky. Okay. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm anxious to see. Um, okay, so I guess I'll maybe just do this so I don't get it on my hands again. Ooh, that's that's that, that was one reason um, you know, to have that double to where you can make use of that. And just press it down in there. And... Make sure your corners have something in them because, um, you know, you want it to be even. Okay. Now, on top of this, you do the chocolate. Then we're going to put the chocolate. So, y'all will see that there's a layer of the cherry. And this is chocolate and almonds, and it is sure so good. Sure does smell good. good. Mm. It smells good. Okay. Then the same way with that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but, but you do need to make sure that the corners, because you're going to cut this in slices, and we're going to show you in a minute. Um, oh, um, what you want? I'm, I'm going to go over there in a second. If you'll put, the, put that cherry, okay. put that on here, and I'm going to get the oven on. Oh, okay. Um, because they fix some. I've got a bunch of recipes here. I'll make sure I get the right one. <laughs> that would be something. I'll tell you what, I'm, I have to be careful myself when I'm... Doing two or three things at one time. You know what I did last night? What did you do? I'm in from your house. What? I had made all that cookie dough over the weekend. And I had two or three more that I was going to make. And so I get in here, get my recipes out, get my mixer out, my heavy duty mixer. And I start mixing up a double batch of one of the same cookies that I'd already <laughs> mixed up a double batch. Oh, so no. we're going to have lots of sugar crinkles. Because those are the ones I'm anxious to see, Linda. And they melt in When are you going to do them? Um, I don't know if we'll have time to cook a batch of them um, today or not. If we okay. do, we will. We want to show them the little pies. Oh, yeah. And we want to show a couple of uh, other little techniques that we do. I told y'all I'd have some little techniques. Now, see, that's a pretty good pan for Yeah, me. that's a nice size pan. Okay. Piece. So there you've got it. It's all three. So and we're you gonna... have to refrigerate this? Yes. Okay. And uh, once this is refrigerated, if you're not ready to bake it, I'm going to fold my ends over like this and fold this over. Can they Kinda see? Kind of like you're wrapping a package. If you're not ready to bake it after it gets uh, really cold in the refrigerator, then you can put this in the freezer. And you'll see right here, this is a log that I've had in the refrigerator. I've got ribbon, 350, 10 to 12 minutes. And we're going to cut these and we're going to cook some. But this is going to go in the refrigerator. Now, this is going to make about, um, let's see, how many dozen did it say? I think that's another one. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I made another one. It recipe. says seven dozen, but it doesn't make seven dozen. I think if you divide it in half and half again, um, it's probably going to make probably about four and a half to five dozen. It but will? You cut them real thin. I was going to say. You have to cut them real thin. Okay. So um, I'm going to put this in there in the refrigerator. Get some cooking sheets out. we got the oven on at 350. And um, let's see. If you'll wet this and yeah. put a, a pastry mat down. Um, well, I don't want the pastry mat down because I'm going to be cutting them. Um, I need a... I need a um, a mat is okay. what I need. Okay. Over there. So I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator. Okay. I got your mat, Linda. 
And you got the cookie sheets, or do I need to get them out? Um, yeah, I've got them. I think I've got them on the table. So, okay. Oh, this is the knife I'm going to use. Okay. You're getting your packages. Oh, goodness. Gotcha. They've been supposed to bring those for two days, and they're finally getting here. Okay, so what are you, uh, are you going to put parchment paper on the, uh, or no, do you use the mask? No, I'm going to mask the seal pads. Okay. And, um, let's see, I think that I'll put that other one over there because it fits better. Um, make sure it's dry. Well, I don't know if we're going to have time to show them or not. What? Um, what I was going, what I told you when you first got here today. Oh, okay. But, um, I was making the little pies. The little individual uh -huh. pies. And they sure and, do look good. And the dough that, um, uh, you can get a pan and show them there okay. if you want. Make sure. sure it's not too hot for you to pick up. Well, there's some. There, um, yeah, in there. This dough that I made this pie uh, crust with is a cookie dough. And it is, this, it is extremely crumbly. This is one of them that she brought me yesterday. I just made that. That's, um. Dates. And it's fig. It's figs, a fig date. Dates. Little cookie. mini pie. Yeah. And the cookie, the uh, crust is cookie dough. And I didn't like the recipe because it was too crumbly. So I added a cap full at a time from the, uh, from a water bottle uh -huh. of ice water like you would do in a pie crust. Okay. Okay. And I think I wound up putting about two or three capfuls each time I would do dough and added about probably about a teaspoon of flour because it was just too crumbly to work with. It yeah. was too crumbly. Okay. But the pies, you saw yesterday how good oh, they turned out. the pie out. was delicious. I, ha I had I eaten another bite last night. I haven't eaten all of it yet. I'm saving a little bit at the time. I got it in a baggie <laughs> refrigerator. I love it. It was so good. Edward but, and I, years ago when we were kids, we would open Mama Can Figs. We would open a jar of figs, and we oh. would eat the whole jar for breakfast. I overnight. love figs on a biscuit. Mm-hmm. So you'll see. I don't know if they can see that let or me, not. Let me get it a little closer. Let me. I just scored a little bit this the, the other day. They're very, they're very, very thin, and you can see that the chocolate is in the middle, and we're fixing to cut these. So um, I think... I'm, I'm going to score them first. Okay. And the best way for me to do it is score it score well, there's in a, half. There's a... Oh, yeah. I, got that. I could use that, couldn't I? You can see it. I'm going to cut it in half and then cut it in half again. That's what I'm going to do. Well, maybe not this one. This one didn't look quite as big. So, I've already cut a piece off of this. That's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, that's thirteen just in this Ooh, little. Wow. So that's gonna make almost two dozen thing right here. So Yeah. And I'm, and I'm gonna cut them here and you can just show okay. them to them and put them okay. on the pan. See how the chocolate and the uh, see how thin they are? They're real thin. And just put them on the on the Yeah. Mat. And, that, and how far apart do you want me to put them on the mat? Um, maybe a little bit further uh, apart than that. Okay. You can, you can cook several on this sheet. Right, let me get this back over here. That's about four and a half. Now, do you think I've got them too close, Linda? Maybe spread them out just a tad more. I don't want them to run together because then we'll right. have to cut them apart. Yeah. Um, sure don't want that. I sure made a lot of cookies out of that yesterday. I didn't really count them. I think I got like, well, let's see, I counted out three dozen. I probably got seven or eight dozen out of those coconut lime cookies yesterday. Yeah, that was a really good recipe. Those cookies. It was two, delicious. but that was two recipes because it you was a double. I, yeah, because yeah, okay. I, I made some, uh, you know, before I made a batch before you got there. Okay, so how many so, did that make? Three, six, 
So that's going to be 18 on that cookie sheet. Okay. Now, you, you know more about how they rise. Do you think that's about the right? I'm going to show you about the size that the cookie it's going to make. Okay, because I may have them too close. If I remember, they, they're a little bit bigger than that. I think you may have them a little yeah, bit close. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So I've got raw cookie dough on my hand, but um, here is the cookie. Yeah, yeah it so does. It's, it's yeah, pretty it's much doubles in size. Yeah, they're too close. So now I'm going to show you the other thing. This was a double batch, and I'd already cooked a few of them out of that um, little, that little uh, tray that we had them in. I don't want you to trip on these chairs, Mary. No, you're not used to having chairs. Mary don't sit down like I do. I guess I'm remind myself of Aunt Nelsie. I cannot stand long periods of a time because of my back. I have to sit down. So, um, um, for all you young girls and young ladies that think you can lift 100-pound sacks when you're a kid, you're going to pay for it when you get older. So I didn't have to do that. do not do it. She did that for 10 years, lifted 100 pounds of peanuts they were, at a time. Actually, they were 110 pounds yeah. sacks. And I'd never done that. Out of so the car and took into the youth center. That's why her back, she's got a bad back. Okay, so this is a 9 by, um, what is the loaf pan? A 9 by... Probably a nine by four. Ain't that a nine, nine by four? By nine by three. three. Does well, it it's probably on the, on the back, isn't it? No, it's no, not. No. Anyway, this is Pamper Chef loaf pan. And so you can, if you don't have the little trays, you can improvise and make your own. I put these in um, cookies. You can make them round. You can make them square. I like them square because it looks like a ribbon. Or not square, but cut oblong. But um, I've done cookies in Pringle cans, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lining it and pushing yeah. it down the tube. There's all kinds of ways you can do it. Or just line pans and, right. and take them out and cut them. Now, I didn't know you was going to do the other uh, pans, so I spread those out. Well, we need, um, we're doing cookie yeah. uh, trays. Boxes for people. So, um, um, we need, so we need to, need to we're going to some need more. some more. Yeah, okay. we are. Okay. So, um, and but I, don't, I can't put no more than this on here. Yeah, you can go ahead and put those in the oven. And you can only put one cookie sheet you know, in my oven. My oven is not Mine is the same a way. huge oven. And I am not complaining. Many minutes. Uh, let's see. I think it's like 10 minutes. Yeah, for 10 minutes. I'm not complaining. I thank God I have an oven. But if I if I ever had a dream kitchen, I would have two, a commercial. two yeah. ovens. I would have a commercial yeah. walk-in refrigerator. I mean, I've got a, I got big dreams for a 73-year-old oh, yeah. woman. And it won't ever happen, but I can still dream it. Okay, so um, this here, and we, and I, you know, we just put the other batch in the refrigerator that we made, and I probably won't cook all these. We need to, how many did we say we needed here for these boxes? Um, I think I didn't bring my notebook. We, we I have think it was three. Five or six that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we need a dozen in each. Um, so um, we need to... We need to put, I'm trying to think. This should be cut in thirds, shouldn't it? I think I think um, if we cut well, it in half, the cookies are going to be really, really big. No. Whoop. Okay, so in half. half? Yeah. Okay, let me score this. Are you hot? I'm burning up. No, well, you're working. <laughs> I'm not working. I told Mike while I go, I said, would you please turn the air condition down? He said, then it's 69. I said, it feels like 89 in here. I am not an old You're woman working. that's going to freeze to death. Uh, let me do some of this. You're working so hard. Okay, I want to make sure this is exactly right. Does that look right to you? That looks fine. Okay, this is the knife that I like to use to do this with. That big one wouldn't work. I don't, I don't trust you myself. Don't trust. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm used to handling this okay. one. Well, you do what you're used to, because I told y'all sure Mary's, want you Mary's braver than I am. Well, Mary's not quite as unique as you either. Not okay. To... Okay. See, now I did have to take this out of the refrigerator because this is this is very compact mm -hmm. and it was basically hard as a brick. Yeah. So I think we'll okay. put one of these wrap one of these back up. 
Okay. And until we see if we're going to need it. You don't right. want to leave cookie dough sitting out unlimited okay. amount of time. Do you want the other silicone on there? Um, uh, yeah, one. did I put it up? Um, I wanted, I wanted our, There's not what did I one. do with it? Two is all I had. How many do you oh, have? Oh, two is all I have. Yeah, yeah put that's that. I thought that's all I've got. Sorry. It's okay. Duh. Okay. Now, does it matter what side on this one? No, it doesn't. Well, I say it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to, if you want to score them and cut them off, Mary, you know, about the size we were doing the others. Okay. And um, I'm going to wash my hands a minute. That's three and a half, and that's. Now, will that hurt your hand to do that? Three. No, I can do it. Three. You may have the end piece that's a little bit off, Mary, because of the way that yeah. both hand is. It will be. So, kind of cut those off. The ends? Yeah. Um, you know, it either be bigger or smaller. You want to make a cookie out of it because we don't want to lose it. Um, okay, I need to move some of this. So I'll have a place to put the cookies and they come out. Mary, please be careful. Don't cut yourself with that knife. I'm not going to cut myself. <laughs> I know. You know I'd blame myself. How, uh, um, okay, I'm going to try my best. Uh, let's see. You do. That's four and a half. That'll be eight. Okay, I'm going to cut that off. Linda might not trust me to do this again if I mess it up. You're doing fine. <laughs> you know, it, Linda's made a lot of these, and like I said, I've never made them. Nothing has to be perfect. It's just uh, the main thing is the cooking time. If, if, if right. there are too many different sizes, then the, they won't all cook the same. Um, did we not set this timer? We didn't, did we? I did, but the, the ones I just put in there, Yeah. I've set it for okay. 10 minutes. I see it. It's, it's it. It's fix and say. I put it on there. Okay. These cookies are a little bit bigger. The reason is because, uh, and not as long, is because of the different size pan. Yep, it's a different size pan, and they will be different. But, that's, but that, okay. that's okay, absolutely. Okay, so let's see. I don't want these to stick together. We'll show them what we've been doing. Um, I've been in such a stew all morning. I know it, Linda. You need to slow down. I'm going to show them what we put in these little pies. Okay. And then, I guess... After we get these done, um, I've got another cookie sheet, don't I? I don't know. This is three. Yeah, I've got lots of cookie sheets, but um, let's see. I'll have to see about a seal pad. Um, I think I've got another one over here. All right, thank you, Linda. All right. <laughs> You say you got another one? I gotta move something. Oh, okay. Okay. I tell you, with the small kitchen, I mean we Linda and I both, we probably spend half our time moving something or looking for something. It's just I don't I it don't have nothing to do with our age, it's because we've got so much stuff and a very small space to, to keep it in. And my house is is smaller than Linda's. So I really have a hard time. Keeping up with everything. As far as cabinets, I've probably got as many cabinets as, as I had when we lived in Kilgore. Yeah, you've got a lot but, of cabinets. Um, you but do. it's still my. It's still yeah, my she house. has. She has a twice. Her kitchen's twice as big as mine. Okay. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, yeah, I could probably get it out of here. Okay. So we got these ready, and once we get this done, we're going to show you. That was the end piece there. I'll tell you what, I'll put that over there on that one. Okay. It's smaller. 
All right, let's move this. Get this out of the way. See? Aren't they beautiful? They are pretty. They're such a pretty and festive cookie. And then this one is, it, it, this is this, the, the way they are when they uh, side the pans. When you put them in the pan, that's just, you know, you have the different sizes, whatever size that you're using. It totally depends on the yeah. Oh, how, yeah. how you do them. Okay, let's just show them the pies okay. next. And in fact, um, I'm going to show them how the mix how is made. Yeah, I'm gonna show them how it's made. I'm gonna show them the. Oh, I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator. Get this left out. Y'all, I'm a I'm a nut about stuff not being left out of the refrigerator. Okay. All right. Well, it's you talking about it being hot? It's not hot in here. I can tell you, it's not. Well, it's called you running around working. And you've okay. been working all morning. Let's see if we can get now, Yeah, you gonna, you gonna tell them how to do this? this little pies out. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so, you know, I have never seen this before. It's fig preserves. We got them in Brookshire's here. Is that where you, yes. is that where you got That's this? That's where I got them. And, um, I put the message on Facebook the other day to try to get some homemade ones to try to buy some homemade fig preserves and, and you nobody <laughs> nobody nobody my, yeah at my um post so i went to two or three stores in marshall and nobody had them and come back to our little local grocery store brookshire's and they had them well so. they sure smell they sure make that good and it's got that's all it is is big preserves and chopped uh, dates and pecans, right? And pecans, chopped dates. So that's easy. Brown sugar and allspice. That's that's easy. And you don't cook the mixture. Uh, no, you do not cook it. It cooks in the oven. Just mix the the uh, figs, uh, chopped dates and pecans, brown sugar and what? Cinnamon. Allspice. Allspice. <laughs> mix that together. Allspice. Don't even bake it. Don't. I mean, don't even cook it. And then you just put it in your unbaked. <coughs> Little cookie shells, is that what you do, Linda? Uh, yeah, the cookie dough the is cookie dough. unbaked. And I, I, I sprayed my hands, and I'm not a fan of spray, but I did spray them. And I cut it with a large biscuit cutter. Okay. The biscuit cutter set. Okay. And um, I didn't use the pie. And we, use, and we use these, she used these pans, which these are Pamper Chef pans, but these have been, they're not available. Uh, nope, they're unavailable. So, um, cause you could use a muffin pan later. You, you could use a muffin pan, you could use a tartlet, the yeah. little bite tartlets. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that because I really like the size of these and the tartlets, I do love them, but they are, they are gonna Small. be a lot more trouble to make. And I wasn't sure how the cookie dough would do on them. Now these these should just come right out. Yeah, see how beautiful they are. Beautiful. Um, and you can uh, get. Well, let me get you another spatula, and you can help. I'll probably. Have oh, you don't think they'd come out without a spatula? I don't know. They might. They'd come out without a spatula. You don't need one. Mm -hmm. You got them little grooves in the pan that you picked yeah. it up with. Well, that's one reason I didn't make these bigger. I, I, first of all, I didn't want it That's to a be big, that big. That is a good uh, piece of uh, a sliced pie, if you ask me. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot of pie. It, it is. is. It's I'm a lot. I'm going to need another tray to put some more of these on. Right. Well, Linda, do you want me to get it for you? No, I'll grab it. i got some over here. And and you can use you can use pie crust, right? You Instead of the cookie dough. It's, it's not going to be quite the same effect. Well, no, it won't. If I use pie crust... I would probably make the pie crust a little sweet. Yeah, this I would too. recipe for this dough here is um, it's a cookie recipe, and it has cinnamon is it the sugar? It. Is it? It's not a cinnamon sugar cookie, is it? No, they're called I mean, a, rolled angel uh, cookies. Is what they're called, okay. and um, it's a very hard dough to work with. I, I kind of reworked the recipe because um, it was just too crumbly. It was, was it way crumbly? too crumbly. It wasn't moist. I don't um, think it would, be, nope. that would be sticky. 
it was it said in the instructions that the dough was fragile i'm not fragile it said it was delicate <laughs> well it wasn't delicate it was crumbly that's the word i would use crumbly yeah. and you uh, just add a little bit of water yeah okay i have a those little beautiful? bit of cold water so we should have 12 we should have 16 do we have 16 well this Nine, is done this is just 12, 12. linda no, we got 16. Oh, you I had, had four. three. Oh, you had, had four already. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. um, I had, I did little cutouts. I've got some leaves. Um, that's a pumpkin. I did. Now this is not lattice. I know it's not, but you could not wind these in there like lattice. And the picture was just like this, um, where I got this recipe. And it's a very old book. These are books that I've had for probably 40 years. And I've got a bell and stars and leaves and just one of them's a holly leaf, one of them's a tree, one of them's a maple leaf. So that's beautiful. So Linda. there, um, and it's just a very very simple uh, recipe. I think you could probably do these in apple. Imagine and put. Yeah, I'm sure you would you want could. your apples yeah. chopped real fine because right. this is a small little pie. But um, you could do an apple, and you could probably even do a blackberry. I if imagine you wanted to. to. Uh, just about any kind of pie, yeah. fruit pie. Yeah. You know, you probably could. Yeah. Just adjust you maybe just do the a, seasonings. A, you could probably even do a pecan pie. You probably could. I, I don't see why you couldn't do a pecan pie. Yeah. The only thing, is though, it, yeah. it wouldn't work. I don't think because so. Because it has cookie. to cook too long yeah. and the cookie yeah. would be, You're right. uh, would be yeah. burnt. And these only cooked for 15 yeah. minutes. No, so. you couldn't do that. And I've got the little boxes. The little, oh, yeah. little boxes I know. to put these in. Little boxes. Because when you're when you're making a cookie tray and you're taking it to somebody or when you're storing cookies, you do not want a soft cookie stored with a crisp cookie. Because if you it do, when you open it up, you're gonna have all soft cookies. Yeah. And I there is nothing that irritates me more than to have something stored wrong after I have worked very hard <laughs> making it. <laughs> And, and Mike is, bless his heart, he thinks as soon as something is done, it's got to be put up right then. And there's a certain way I want my cornbread wrapped, and he always puts it in a plastic bag, and I don't want it in a plastic <laughs> bag. You mean a Ziploc? <laughs> well, we use the oh, little, okay. little cheap okay. bags yeah. for, uh, I say cheap, they used to be a dollar a box, they're three dollars and something now. Goodness. So they ain't cheap, but they're yeah. cheaper than Ziplocs. Right. Okay, so our ribbon cookies are done, or a batch of them. Uh, you can move these out of the way so we can get your other cookies up here. Yes, and we're going to, well, we probably won't take these up yet. Yeah, they're too soft. Um, I think I'm going to cook these one more minute. Um, you can always cook a cookie longer, um, and the instructions say 10 minutes. And I've cooked a 10, and we'll cook them one more minute. Okay. And then I'll show them to you, and then we're going to do something else. Okay. And, uh, I told you all right. y all, I had a lot of things going on this morning. Okay, so what uh, uh, What are you doing now? Okay, we're going to do, we're going to dip some shortbread. Oh, that's right. Peppermint. Peppermint shortbread. This is not her a recipe for shortbread either. No, it's not. It's a different it's a different and recipe. I like my shortbread recipe better than well, I that's what You one. used to use your short, shortbread. You used to do um, it with your shortbread, didn't you? When I No, when I made these before, I, I used this recipe. Oh, okay. And again, it's, a, Sit down. it's an old recipe. It's, um, it's a, a book. I've got this hutch right here. It's full of cookbooks. And so is that hutch over there of the top two shelves. And I pull out a different recipe book for different things. Yeah. And at Christmas time, there's certain cookies that we make. And I wanted some fudge to go on those platters, Mary. And I, oh. <laughs> I was going to get Mike to make some. He makes really good fudge. But I didn't have any marshmallow cream, so I'm going to have to get some. Yeah. Well, well, I can make some fudge. No. You we can do that to do tomorrow, anything. Linda, along with the... You've got enough to do, Mary. Along with what I'm making tomorrow. Um, okay, well, we might consider it. Okay. Yeah, we can make some fudge tomorrow. Don't. You don't have a pad over here. Okay. Ooh, those Let's look so good. Some more in the oven. Let me move the camera back. Or move this forward a little bit so y'all can see it better. Okay, I'm going to melt my chocolate and my uh, uh, This is They've been cooked. 
And you cook them how long, Linda? I cooked them 11 minutes. 11 minutes, okay. Yeah. Well, they sure do look pretty. But they got to cool on this for five minutes? Oh, yeah. I'm going to probably let them cool, yeah. Longer than that? Five, maybe longer than five, and then okay. we'll move them to a rack. Okay. But um, I guess we're going to have to move these in order to get, the, <laughs> get this over here. Y'all, Linda's it's just going, fruit basket she's just over. going everywhere this morning. <laughs> let me get the shortbread over here. Do you want me to show them what we do first? I want you to show them the tray, the finished product first. Yeah. Okay. And then we will, um, we've got one little circle to dip. This is what she's talking about. This is the peppermint shortbread. It's peppermint dipped shortbread. Isn't that cute? And, and um, pretty. It looks real it Christmassy. Smells so good. Yeah. And there, you can pick up one and show them it. I've got them dipped on the back too. Now, if like you want pizza to, slices. Yeah, if you want them to cut them smaller, you can. Uh, the, the circle was supposed to be six inches, Mary. Uh huh. But I rolled these out to about eight inches because it, it was too thick for six inches. I okay. made short bread. Okay. I didn't want it so thick that you know okay. that you couldn't pick it up. All right. Are we gonna taste one of these, or have yes. you got this right of mouth? No. You Let's get a it. small one. Or do you want us to taste one that we're you fixing to do? Taste of it, taste of it, I'm going to taste one taste of these. Another. I want to taste it at the end with the peppermint. Are you going to taste it? I've already tasted it. <laughs> I know it's good. Well, I know it's good too. I love that peppermint. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. It's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's really good, Linda. And I'm going to move these. So we've got I'm going to put more. this on a napkin so I can finish it later. Okay. Oh, and Mary, what? we need to... Um, that peppermint need... is so good. It's so refreshing, it's isn't it? Yes. We need to um, thank um, Deborah mm, yes. Bannerman, the lady that sent, the sweet lady that sent us both a box uh, the other day. Um, we didn't mention the gift card because we're... <laughs> We're very particular. We don't want people to think that we're trying to, you know, we don't want y'all solicit or, or or ask for something. Right. But she sent both of us a Cracker Barrel gift card. Yes. So thank you very much, Deborah. And for we that. got and and we got her permission. We didn't know whether we should say it or not. We just didn't want y'all to think that we're advertising that, that to give us something because we're not. And more we're Christmas not. cards. Yes, and, we got um, more Christmas cards. Thank y'all so much for the Christmas was cards. It and somebody sweet else notes. we were supposed to thank. Um, I can't uh, remember if it was or not. You know, we told, we, we thanked, um... Oh, yes, yes, yes. The lady that sent the gift card for, um, the Christmas oh, wish. that's right, that's right. The Christmas wish list. Now, that's tomorrow. We're announcing the winner tomorrow, uh, on that Christmas wish list. We've been going through them, and, and I was telling Linda yesterday when we was reading them, says I'm just praying the Lord would direct us to the right one, because we got a lot of sweet, sweet Christmas wishes. Wish I could send every one of them something, but it's just not because we got a stack of them. We got a lot of them, so we're just gonna keep continue praying about it and asking the Lord to direct us on, on which one. We haven't yet. made a decision yet. We've got got different areas. And then we're going to keep culling them down until we announce the gift tomorrow. Now, are we going to tell them tomorrow what we're going to put in that box? I think... I or think maybe we'll, wait till Tuesday and tell them what we sent. Because we got to get it together. Yeah, we might We might wait till we... Because um, we got to get the address for one thing. Yeah, we got we to get the address. Verify the address. Because on the wish list, some of you didn't send addresses. So we've got to verify that. So. Okay, so uh, show them the peppermint, Mary. This is, she put it in a bowl, but it comes in a sack like this. It's called peppermint dust. Tuesday morning, I believe. She got this at Tuesday morning. And, and then she, this is her, her um, shortbread. She rolled it out into a circle and then cut it in pie slices. And you want to score shortbread. You, got you always want to score it. Yes, I did. I got eight out of this. You want to score it before you bake it. It's just easier. And when you cut shortbread, this recipe said to wait so many minutes before you cut it. 
I've made enough shortbread in my life, I cut it as soon as it comes out of the oven yes. because it hardens or sets very right. quickly. Right. So this is almond bark here. You could use white it's chocolate, a, um, it's a camera but I used it. almond bark because that's what I got out to use and that's what the recipe called for. But you could use white chocolate. You could also use dark chocolate. Okay. You know, if you okay. wanted dark chocolate. Oh, that would be um, good. The chocolate with the peppermint. Yeah. I almost done mixed up or melted some dark chocolate, but the reason I didn't because it was just something else I had to do. <laughs> I'm telling you, and it I've got to be a lot. bundles of cookie dough in that refrigerator that's got to be cooked. Yeah. In the next yeah. day or two. Um, so we are, this is hot, and um, you have to heat it in order to. Um, now, Linda, when you it. do your that, do you add any cream or anything in there, no. or you just no, melt it? This is just candy coating. And that's candy coating. Okay. And one of our viewers, I don't remember her name, and I probably wouldn't say it no, because I hadn't asked her, but she sent me a message the other day. Mary, you may have seen that. I don't know. What Sometimes people send a message um, from our Pinky Mama's inbox, and we both can see we it. We both see the inbox. But on if Pinky they Mouse. text me, I only see mine. If they text Mary, right. uh, she only sees hers. So uh, she said, you need to tell people about these prep bowls. She thought they looked flimsy in, uh, in the catalog. They're not flimsy they're at all. They're silicone, and they're they, very sturdy. They do bend, but they're not something that is going to slip out of your hand mm -hmm. or that's paper thin. Right. These are really, really nice bowls. Yeah, so they are. Thank you. Thank you for asking me to mention that. Yeah, and, and I'll just say that again. If y'all trying to get a hold to us, Pinky Ma's Cakes, Cookies, and Candy goes to both of us. We both see the same messages. But if you're wanting specifically to talk to Linda, you put that on her personal phone, her personal. And you put it on my personal phone if you want just me to see it. So you can see these are about, would you say about a fourth inch yeah, thick? yeah. They're about a fourth inch thick, and um, I just make sure there's not any crumbs. I just kind of brush it off. Yeah. You can use a you can use a brush. I keep all kinds of brushes in my cake decorating stuff, but you can just brush it off with your hands. And so then we're just, just going to dip it in here. Okay. And uh, you can see I've got some that's clumped up there from the uh, from the uh, from where coating. I yeah, yeah. Where I well we can just separate it. it. But um, I'm gonna and this is hot, so when you dip something that's hot, it's gonna it's gonna run. And I may have to um, kind of let it dry. Yeah, I may have to let it drip because yeah. it's it's gonna take it a minute to set if you don't. Here, I'm gonna pull the camera closer where they can see exactly what you're doing. Okay. And y'all can see my little grips there on the side where I've pulled this up. And... Okay, I think they see you better now. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dip it in that. You can use your hands if you want to. In fact, I did all morning use my hands. Just cause it yeah, goes a little faster. Better. Yeah. I think I'm just. You gonna, want to put it I on a paper plate or on this? Um. Well, I'll just say you can use bring the paper plate over here too because we may need them both. Okay. I didn't get a tray out. You can see it's pretty liquid. The longer this sets, the thicker it gets, and it'll it'll set quicker. But you can't dip it when it's set. You have to dip it when it's liquid. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's just a little bit of fine line between. It's just time consuming, is what it amounts to. But you can tell it's it's um kind of thick. I've used my hands to get down there a lot better. It seems like. I think we've been on here an hour, Mary. The clock's yeah, chiming. I know it. <laughs> we usually try not to stay on over an hour. <laughs> we're so busy, got so much to do. We're we're trying to make good use of our time today. Do you want me to hand them to you and yeah, let you do I'll, that, and that'll let us so we can get through with this here yeah. and get off? I um, almost licked my fingers. <laughs> Well, that would you wouldn't be the first <laughs> you wouldn't be the first cook that's ever done that, Mary. And I've got more peppermint if you need it. And you could you could always put crush up some other kind of candy, but the peppermint is just so Christmassy. You don't want to hold the tip. So pretty. <laughs> I just showed y'all what not to do. You can't yeah. hold that by the tip. Yeah, it'll it'll because it's. 
Okay, I'll give this to you and I'll go check the cookies. All right. And I won't hold it by that tip. Oh, it's no, no. You know, you have no to learn. Problem. And I usually do learn. I usually do learn by my mistakes. Mistakes. I did a peppermint cake one year for Christmas. Do you remember that? I think I do remember that, you Mary. Put whole peppermints on it. And let me tell you something, that didn't work very good. Because when moisture hit the peppermint, it, run, it yep. run down the side of the cake. Like a cherry. Yep. The uh, gingerbread house, that little house oh, that I did over there. Them. Um, those uh, lollipops, I did a cake with them on it one time, a birthday cake, and I learned the hard way too. Once you unwrap them lollipops, they are going to be syrupy. So these, I cut the stems off of them and glued it on with the did cellophane you? on it. Yes, I did. This would be messy, but it would be fun, something for the kids to do. Yeah, that'd be, a, this Especially is the bigger little, kids, don't you think, Yeah, Mary? I think the little kids are, the, not maybe the tiny, tiny little ones, but you know what? Kids need to learn, yes. and the only way they're going to learn yes. is, is for you to let them get in the kitchen. Right, And that's, exactly. a, a lot of times today, Mary, parents don't want the kids they, in there because they're in the way, because right? Because it takes, it takes time, and they do make mistakes, and they make a mess. But that's the way they have to learn. What would have happened if our grandmothers wouldn't have let us and mamas wouldn't have let us in the kitchen? I know. That's how we learn. We made mistakes, but that's how we learn. to constantly did it again. <laughs> if you don't have a, a timer, I suggest you buy one. <laughs> yeah. Because you by the time you smell the cookies, they're already cooked too long. I'm just gonna put that tip back on. Oh, there. don't worry about that tip, Mary. Well, I just dipped it in that white chocolate. <laughs> can't do two things at one time, and I got my mind on something else. You got a lot to do to Mary. And today, Mary, I shouldn't have had all this in here to do so you could have got out of here quicker and went she home. She called me. She said, well, won't you just stay home today, Mary, and I'll, I'll do this. You got so much to do. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, this is my job, too. Okay. So we got all that done. I'll tell you if you if you don't put the cookie down in this with that dough, it won't have them hard lumps in it. If you just hold the cookie in your hand, um, but we're trying to go so fast to get it done until we had to. All right. All right. If you'll scoot those to the side, we'll um, take these uh, some of those up and um, let them see what the these. Yeah, oh, just yeah, just move it over. over. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to move it. I ain't got nowhere to put it. <laughs> okay. Let me wash my hands. Yeah. And then we've got two more pans that we're going to cook. Okay. And we're fixing to get off of here and let y'all go fix you some lunch or whatever y'all want to do. <laughs> go to the bathroom or whatever. <laughs> but um, 
These seal pets are just amazing. Well, these come yeah. up with that. Yeah. Yeah. They'll just come up with them. Is that, you know what? I wonder if that has something to do with it, these paint, these uh, silicone yeah. mats. I'm telling you, when when I first saw the price on these, I said, there's no way I'm paying $30 for one of them. But I, I, sure want, I want you to know one thing. They're worth every yeah. penny of $30. Hey, and them. I'll show you something else, too. Well, I'm not going to show you because I don't have time. But I've done something this morning that uh, d the cookie dough that I made the little pies with, um, we have already established that it's crumbly. I've already said that three times. But um, it's very hard to roll. So I put a piece of um, the freezer plastic wrap on top of it because, you know, chefs do that. And mm -hmm. I'm not a chef, but not insinuating that I am. But people do that to so it'll roll, roll smoother. And I use the freezer wrap because it's thicker than plastic mm -hmm. wrap. But that wasn't working too well either. I put one of those seal pats on top of that, and it rolled like a dream. I bet it did too. A lot better Just wax paper. on top of I used the, to use wax paper. Yeah. It kept moving. Is it, that the, right? the plastic wrap kept moving. Yeah. I said, well, there's got to be an yeah. easier way to do this. And so I know how to do it next time. I'm just going to put a piece of seal pad on top of it and, uh, and roll it right out, and it just rolled as smooth yeah. as it could be. Yeah, that's good. So I'm... I'm no, y'all, y'all think how in the world does she go like she does, but she does this all the time. Oh, Bless my sister heart. does too. Mm -hmm. I want to tell y'all something funny and then we're going to get off. Um, we have different Christmases that we have different things that we remember about, but um, this is back in the early 90s. We had Christmas at our house and um, we lived. It was, on, it was on, was it 94? Mm -hmm. It was on a highway, but the house set back off the road, so our driveway was real long. And it was really cold that year. And we, it was actually sleet and rain when Mike was, we did luminaries down the driveway and it was sleet and rain when he was putting them out. Y'all were coming in from several I different know, places. Yeah. That's before y'all had moved it back mm -hmm. to East Texas. Yeah. And um, Grace's, Grace's kids were little. Mm -hmm. Bonnie and Aaron must have been, what, five or six or something? Um, six or I'm seven? Not sure. I think they, I think they were they pretty was, young. Yeah, they was kind of like little. Bonnie or age. Aaron, y'all let me know. Um, we can figure <laughs> up your age and subtract it from whatever yeah. and figure it up. But anyway, um, Bonnie was in the dining room, and we were all milling around trying to get everything ready. And uh, we set the garage up. And yeah. we had tables, we had little silverware. Mary and I had bought, we were working at that advertising mm -hmm. company, and we had bought these real sets of little silverware for children. We had children's tables and mm -hmm. children's chairs. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of people well, there. It was a double car garage, and she had it enclosed in, and we had, had it all set up for a party in there. And we were in the... Um, in the dining room and Bonnie was, uh, Erin was just talking away. She was just, she was just talking away. And all of a sudden Bonnie was trying to, to say something and she turned around to Bonnie. And she said, shut up, Bonnie, I'm trying to preach. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cutest thing. I wish this was before yeah. cell phones. I wish so much I, I had that old tape. I, I remind her of that every once in a while. Well, but, you know, I have, did you know I have a video recording of that? Of that, of, that of that Christmas. I sure well, did. we'll have to get I that out and look at that one day, Mary. Uh -huh. it's it's, on, that's back when that was those great old big camcorders. The I had ones. one of those, and and I I videoed it. I've got the I've got it. I on would tape. love to see it. I've got it on film. There'd probably be some balling going no, on. No, it was so sweet. <laughs> anyway, we love y'all. Thank y'all for being patient and staying with us. And um, count your blessings. The yes. girls are still in New York City. Yes, they're having back a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, y'all just get in the kitchen and start making some memories with your kids and grandkids. Right. We love you. Thank y'all for watching with us today. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.